Hey everyone, today we are back with a homeowner series on the Xbox One. I've been on the gaming PC for the last several hours playing Farm Sim. I just got a call from a local dealer. Our new toy has arrived. We gotta go pick it up! And I'm really excited here for it. As we're heading out on the door, we'll go grab a few snacks and a water bottle, but I'm really excited to be back here on the Xbox One. And if you guys do want a full mods list, it is up on my website. Just grabbed a bottle of water and a few granola bars that should be ready to go to get the day going. Now we will be taking our lifted NMC, which I did update. Many of you guys have been saying to update the truck. I finally did, and it does look pretty sweet. It actually has new engine sounds, which is pretty exciting, but we gotta get our truck. We gotta get the utility trailer because we are actually trading in the JCB UTV, although we didn't really have this UTV for too long. There is one that's even better that we're picking up today, and it's a Deer, which I'm really really excited for here so let's hop in the NMC let's hear that start up and 6.6 .6 liter V8 yeah huge huge V8 person and this thing sounds sweet so far, I've really been enjoying these Xbox videos here, and I do have a lot planned, and many of you guys have been asking for even more, so stay tuned for much more here coming very soon, and maybe we we could even do some Xbox live streams. Have you guys come and game and help on out, but let's hop in the UTV. Now, although I really do like this, I think this is a really good starter UTV. It's pretty affordable uh, compared to some of the other ones, especially the one we're buying today. It's entry level into it, and I think that's definitely the way to go. You want to start with the cheaper one, and if you like it you tend to use it you buy something that's even better and that's what we're doing we got it loaded up on to the utility trailer let's head on out here now with this lifted truck it is a bit funny towing some trailers sometimes because of just how tall it is uh, but you guys can see we have the tow mirrors folded out and let's head on over now I hope everyone's been having a pretty good Sunday so far, mine's been pretty awesome, I'm just excited uh, to be back here making some farm uh, sim videos. Now this upcoming week we will be back with a lot of videos, including some with the landscaping series and some others as well, but we're getting pretty close here. So I guess you guys can already have seen it from the thumbnail, but I bought a John Deere 6x4 Gator. Uh, this was recently released here, I saw it and I just said we have to have it here. So I already did the paperwork, it's already ours. And I actually really wanted to kind of do a comparison uh, between these two here to really see which one is uh, kind of the way to go here but wow look at that thing that thing looks pretty sweet and we are trading this in pretty much what we paid for it since we didn't put too much hours but here it is guys the 6x4 gator I did get the option for the windshield the uh, side markers there and uh, the dump bed which we could uh, put straps we could put really anything in it look at this thing guys this thing is sweet look at that we could get so many different attacks here really do like it six by four uh, so this will be able to kind of float around here it does have turn signals and wow look at this thing guys this will be a pretty fun thing to cruise a yard in and it is a pretty big one just now thinking will it fit on the trailer should be able to oh yeah that is definitely a close one there looks like we only have a few inches from that back door but it's going to fit now it was pretty easy to convince the wife to purchase this, which is also a good thing as well. Sometimes uh, she isn't always up for it, but uh, she's been using that JCB, and I think this was the way to go here. Now with this, we could have kind of got our kind of full roll cage, just like the JCB uh, with a small roof, but I decided why don't we go without that, because I really do like the look. It's such a clean look as well. Now, like I did touch upon, there is a full mods list up on my website. I really do recommend you go check it on out if you guys would like to see a lot of mods. Every uh, mod I use uh, with most of my series is up over there. But we have arrived back here. I think we'll leave the truck and trailer attached for now. But this NMC is becoming one of my favorite trucks on console. The 5 inch lift kit looks sweet. All right, let's hop in this gator. We got to cruise around the yard here. We got to have a little bit of fun, and it is a diesel as well. So we're going from, I believe it was a Honda, like 20 horsepower gas. I think this is a Kawasaki diesel. This is pretty sweet here, but we got the new gator, guys. We'll be able to do a lot of work, actually. We do want to kind of check up on the chickens. Looks like they're uh, always uh, pretty loud there, especially the rooster. But up next, guys, we are picking up uh, two horses. We actually got to go over to the animal dealer to get them. And to do that, we need to rent a horse trailer. I don't want to buy a trailer uh, to only use a few times of the year. 
All right, we got the gator here in the garage. I can't wait to take the kids and wife out on it. This thing will be a ton of fun. We'll be using this though for a lot of utility work as well. Now with the horse trailer, they did specifically tell me that a lifted truck would not work. So we will actually be taking the wife's uh, Rambler pickup, which is nice. I don't really drive this too much uh, because I really like my lifted truck here. And she's always out and about driving around the town here, but this is such a neat looking truck here. It's up on the inside. And with the updates, uh, there were, uh, a few things here. I actually had to kind of rebuy these, but wow, this truck looks awesome. So cool that mods just keep getting better and better for the Xbox and the PlayStation as well. All right, we'll be heading off to the local uh, dealer to pick up the trailer. We have it for about four hours. I think we probably will only need it for two, but it's always good to have a few hours of buffer, but this thing is such a sweet truck here. Really do like it, and I hope everyone has been just having a pretty good winter break. My break's been pretty good, and I, I have a about a month left which I'm really excited for and lots and lots of videos to come and I am planning to do some FS19 time-lapse videos on the Xbox which should be a lot of fun as well but here we are yep they said just to get it backed up and attached and we should be good to go all right, we have the trailer. This should fit two horses here, which is definitely a good thing. Just doing a light check, making sure everything's good to go. And definitely, even with a uh, regular truck, you guys can see it's sitting a pretty high up there as well. So good thing we didn't go out and buy that. But wow, this truck looks pretty cool. Now, I do want to use this more, though. We do need to do some modifications to it. The wife has said she wants a bigger tow mirrors and maybe a new wheels and tires. So that's something we're going to have to look into. And luckily, we don't have to wait and stop for a train. So we've decided to go here with two horses. I really want to kind of get different uh, breeds of the horses here. That way they kind of look different as well and we can uh, easily tell them apart. With the homeowner series here on the Xbox, I am trying to be as realistic as possible, but I want to have a lot of fun. I really want to give you guys entertaining content. That's always something I do kind of strive for here, but we have arrived here at the animal dealer. It's kind of a maze. I actually stopped by here uh, with the wife beforehand uh, to kind of talk about it. Oh yeah, it looks like we actually uh, almost got lost as well. Second time here and I'm still getting lost, uh, but that is a okay. So the horses are inside this barn and we actually have to choose the two and I think that uh, we actually have to take the horse names, which is no problem. Let's come over here and we'll, uh, all right, we are here at the horse section. So I think we'll probably want to go with this one here, a uh, $5,000 a horse guys. This is going to be a lot of money we're spending, but really quickly, just want to double check. So we got a horse like that. Really want to just do a different looking horse and move perfect and purchase $10,000 in horses. You guys can see pretty similar, but at the same time, they are different breeds. I could definitely feel the weight of these two horses in the trailer, but uh, definitely not too bad. Now this truck should be rated to tow, I would say 10,000 pounds here. Each horse is a few thousand pounds, but can you imagine that guys? There are two horses in the back, two horsepower, but this truck has over 500. Imagine that. That would be such an interesting video if you could show like one truck with like 500 horses next to it. That would be pretty fun as well uh, to kind of see that happen. Now I am working on a lot of things behind the scenes here for upcoming videos including a lot with the landscaping series over the last several weeks I've been working on and trying to make sure the mods and everything is ready to go here for but 2021 is going to be an epic year here for the channel hopefully we could reach 100k in 2021 that's the goal and if you guys haven't already I do ask you please subscribe because we keep growing and we're gonna get closer and closer to that but this horse trailer more I look at it it almost kind of seems to be a home built trailer which is uh, fine, still does a job just like a regular one, but I kind of like the look of it. Maybe we might have to place an offer in for a few thousand dollars. Looks to be 10 plus years old, but it just looks so sweet. Let's bring the horses around back. Yes, we are driving on the grass and we didn't get much rain. Hopefully we don't leave too big of a tire uh, track here, but we have to go right alongside the horse uh, paddock area here. Should be uh, kind of in the center. We'll go forward a little bit more. I think right here uh, should be it here. So let's see. Perfect, here we go. Let's see if we can get them moved over here. So we have Buddy and we have Spirits. Those are some pretty good names and we'll confirm. So there we have it, guys. We've got two horses. Uh, why don't we hop on one of them and let's see if we could have a quick, fun kind of jolt around here. 
Let's uh, jump over the fence here. And with the horses, I do want to kind of get them trained here. Get the kids uh, to kind of have a great time riding them around the yard. And maybe we could go kind of climbing mountains and trails and things like that with the horses. It is pretty awesome that we can have horses in Farm Sim. And I definitely want to kind of do more videos with horses. I think that would be a ton of fun here. But overall, get in some great exercise on the horses. And you guys, since it really takes a lot of time to kind of get them wound down from running so, so fast here. Let's see if we can put them in the horses. And then we'll catch you guys in the garage. The last thing I planned here for today is to do a little bit of reorganization. We do have the brand new toy hauler, but it's right where I park my uh, truck and I kind of have to squeeze on in here. So what we'll be doing, we'll be taking the triaxle toy hauler and we'll be putting it right here. And both these trailers will be going right in the uh, side. With a little bit of a change of plans, we'll be putting this on the inside here. That way we can have the foldouts and it would be a little bit easier to kind of get on out of here. It's also a lot harder to kind of get back to then those trailers uh, but we had a pretty fun camping trip many of you guys really did like those videos which is awesome my goal is to always make videos that you guys do end up enjoying here but just about have this in here and then we could get our garage back and i think the wife said she was gonna go uh, kind of buy a few things at the store so we'll have her drop off that uh horse trailer she should have no problem doing it but hope you guys enjoyed today's homeowner series video it's been a fun one not only did we get horses we got a new gator the six uh, by four which is pretty sweet and did a little bit of reorganization but thanks for watching stay tuned for next one and subscribe for more